Welcome to Smart Start, and thank you for selecting us as your Interlock provider. Choosing our Interlock means you choose convenience, affordability, and an easy to use device manufactured by the leading company in alcohol monitoring technology. Remember that we're available for you 24 seven through this process. To start, in this training video, we will show you how to use your Interlock so you can complete your program successfully and easily. We're looking forward to getting you back on the road safely. So let's get started. Let's go over how your interlock works. First, your vehicle's key needs to be turned to the on position, or for vehicles with push button ignitions, the button needs to be pressed once with your foot off the brake pedal. The Smart Start interlock displays blow on its screen once your vehicle's ignition is on and will beep. It is important that you rinse your mouth with water before providing any breath test. When taking a test, the interlock requires you to have your lips sealed around the entire mouthpiece to minimise incomplete results and ensure a successful test. Please note that the blowing pattern on your device differs from state to state. Hands-on training will be provided by your service technician when you arrive for your installation. There are four possible results based on your breath test. Pass, warn, fail or violation. Your interlock screen will display pass when no alcohol is detected in your breath sample. Now you can start the vehicle. A warn indicates that alcohol was detected in your breath sample, but was below your state's fail level. A warn will still allow you to start your vehicle. However, it is possible you may fail subsequent tests if you decide to drive following a warn result. A fail or violation result indicates that alcohol was detected at or above a blood alcohol level of 0.02. You will not be able to start your vehicle if you receive a fail or violation result. All states have their own requirements following a failed or violation breath test. Your Smart Start service technician can provide you with general information about the Ignition Interlock program in your state. Your Smart Start service technician will also inform you of the different alcohol levels during your hands-on training. Once on the road, your interlock will at some point prompt you to perform a random retest. When the unit prompts for this test, the screen will display the word blow and will also display a countdown of the time allowance remaining. To ensure safe handling of the vehicle, Smart Start recommends pulling the vehicle over while taking the test. Your interlock will never stop your vehicle during a rolling test. Please note that missing or failing a rolling test could result in a violation. You may encounter abort messages while attempting to take a test. These abort messages will help guide you towards successfully providing a breath sample into the device. Aborts are not fails and do not affect the readings generated by the device. The interlock will display blow longer if your air pressure is not sufficient or you did not blow long enough. Make sure you take a deep breath before starting your test, maintain a steady airflow or increase the airflow pressure for the duration of the breath test. Once the device resets with the word blow, you may try again. If you receive the abort message mouth closer, this indicates your lips are not completely sealed around the mouthpiece or close enough to the base of the mouthpiece. Once the device resets with the word blow, you may try again. The blow softer message means that you are blowing too hard. Decrease the amount of air pressure when you provide a breath sample. And again, once the device resets with the word blow, you may try again. The abort tamper message means that something is blocking the flow of air through the device. Blockage can be caused by items that have been blown into the device or by placing your hand over the vent. Check for any obstacles, remove them and blow again. If you inhale while your mouth is on the mouthpiece right before you provide the breath test, you may receive a don't inhale message. Remember, when taking a test, take a deep breath away from the mouthpiece and then exhale directly into the mouthpiece. Our goal at Smart Start is to help you be successful. We do recognise that a violation can occur during your program. In the next section of this video, we will go over what can happen when a violation occurs and what to do. 
in accordance with state or court requirements. The device will record and log when violations occur. The number of violations that could trigger a lockout will differ from state to state. Some states only allow one violation before the device goes into lockout mode. Other states may provide more leeway. Once again, your Smart Start service technician can provide you with general information concerning what triggers a violation lockout in your state. Here are the primary causes for a violation that may require you to return to a service centre before your regularly scheduled service appointment. Failure to pass any requested test may result in a violation. Violations are also caused by any attempts to tamper, circumvent, bypass or disable the interlock and or add-on equipment, meaning any unauthorised efforts to start the vehicle without providing an initial start-up test. Tampering, circumventing, bypassing or disabling of the interlock and or add-on equipment will result in a violation. Your interlock will make a record of the event and will be reported to your monitoring authority. Per state or court requirements, your interlock will trigger a lockout for one of two reasons. Either all the allowable violations have occurred or your scheduled maintenance service is overdue. You will be allowed a seven day grace period after your set appointment date before a permanent lockout. Most states require that you return to your service centre on a 30 day interval to have information downloaded and ensure that the device is calibrated within the state required range. If you do not return for a service by the specified date appointment or date range, your interlock will display SRVC lock with the hours and minutes remaining to permanent lockout. If you do not return for service within the stated grace period, the device will lock out permanently. You will not be able to start your engine until you have contacted one of our customer support specialists to receive an unlock code or have your vehicle towed into the nearest service location. If you have received a code, you will have six hours to drive directly to the nearest service centre for download, calibration and reset. You can have your interlock serviced at any Smart Start service centre across Australia. A full list of service centres is available on our website. If you exceed your state violation limit, your device will display violation lock and the device will provide the remaining hours and minutes to permanent lockout. Once the device grace period has expired, it will no longer prompt for a test and you will be required to return to the service location for a device reset. Keep in mind that there is a fee for every unlock code you request and you can only be provided with two codes in each servicing period. The unlock code does not disable any other functionality of the device, but still requires successful passing of all tests. This service by Smart Start is provided as an alternative to the towing of your vehicle. It is necessary for you to drive your vehicle to the nearest Smart Start service location as soon as you receive the code. In this video, we showed you how to use your interlock from your initial tests to rolling tests, including incomplete tests, violations and lockouts, all necessary information for you to complete your program. You can now get back on the road safely. If you still have questions concerning your interlock device, visit us at www.smartstartinterlocks.com.au or call us anytime at 1300 256 900 to speak with our customer support team. This training video, your user manual guide, your state laws on interlocks, FAQs and more can also be found at www.smartstartinterlocks.com.au we are here for you every step of the way throughout your interlock program. Thank you again for choosing Smart Start to help you get back on the road safely.
Hi, and welcome to Smart Start Interlocks. I'll take you through your welcome package and what you need to know now that you have an alcohol interlock with Smart Start Interlocks. In your hands, you have our welcome package. Please open it and look for the SSI 2020-2030 information guide. So let's go over how your interlock works. Firstly, turn your ignition on. The device will light up and the SSI logo will appear. Initializing will then be displayed on the screen. The unit is now preparing for a test. Take this time to drink some water to eliminate possible breath contaminants. The LCD will then display blow and the right LED will be green and flashing. Take a deep breath, then blow into the device. A long tone will sound, approximately five seconds. The SSI 2020 requires a blow hum technique. If a correct test is provided and there is no alcohol present in the breath sample, a pass will appear. If there is alcohol present, file or fail will be displayed. You will not be able to start the vehicle. Start and a countdown will appear on the screen. You will have three minutes to start the engine before the device will ask you to retake the test. You can now start your vehicle. Please note, the unit will ask for further random tests once the vehicle has started. Look at the possible display messages and what they mean. If the display shows a lock or you are having issues to provide the test, please call us to help you start your vehicle. Remember, anyone can drive your vehicle, however, they must use the interlock device. Once the device begins asking for a retest, be sure to take the test before the retest time elapses to avoid recording a violation. The interlock device does not affect the engine's operation and cannot turn your engine off once it is running. Keep the unit in its mount so the display is visible. With the radio playing loud or a window down, you may not hear the audible tone the interlock device will make when it is ready for a retest. If you can see the display, you will notice the retest indication. An optional LED light is available for participants who are hearing impaired. In the unlikely event the unit is not responding as designed and or your vehicle is not starting for an unknown reason, we may ask you to tow your vehicle to the nearest smart start location. If the problem is found to be within the interlock device, we will credit your account for the amount of the tow bill. When travelling to another state or territory, your interlock device can be serviced at any of our service centres across Australia. Please go to our website and navigate to the service centre pages for a complete list of service centres and trading hours if you are travelling interstate. If you are not travelling in your vehicle and you find the device locked upon return, you will need to contact Smart Start for an unlock code. Please keep in mind that lease fees continue even if you are not using the vehicle and multiple lease payments will be required on your return for service. Your welcome package also contains an additional brochure that goes through avoiding potential contaminants. Please take it out now so you can follow along with me. Your alcohol interlock will detect small traces of alcohol. Variations of alcohol from items we use daily can cause problems with breath alcohol testing. I can't emphasise enough the importance of removing potential contaminants from your mouth and or lungs prior to using an alcohol ignition interlock device. As you can see, numerous items have the potential to contaminate the fuel cell in the device. Many of the examples given are general, as an exhaustive list is simply not possible. It is your responsibility to avoid products that can contaminate the fuel cell and lead to failed tests. Make sure you rinse your mouth with water to break up food particles. Don't spray perfume, air freshener or deodorant inside of your vehicle at least 10 to 15 minutes before starting your car as all of these products have the potential to contaminate the fuel cell.
The third document you'll find in your welcome package is the alcohol interlock program. Please make sure you check the number of violations that will cause your program to be extended according to your state regulations. You'll also see the violations that will cause your interlock to start a seven day countdown, requiring you to bring your vehicle back for an early service before the countdown expires. Providing an initial test fail means blowing an alcohol reading above 0.02. Providing a rolling retest fail means that a test requested after your first test was above 0.02. Skipping a rolling retest. You did not provide a test requested while you were driving or after you pulled over, the interlock was asking for a test and you failed to provide it. Circumvention. Any attempt to start the vehicle without providing a test. Not attending a service personally. If someone else takes your vehicle for a service, it may not count towards your program. If there is a medical reason, please contact your transport authority. In the brochure, you will see a list of service centres in your state. You can also visit our Smart Start Interlocks website for a full list of service centres across Australia. Please turn to the area that says Service Schedule Diagram. In this section, it explains your lockout day. For instance, if you were installed on the 14th of the month, you would have seven days before the 14th and seven days after the 14th. So that means you can be serviced from the 7th onwards right up to your lockout date and all the way through to the 21st. Failing to abide by these rules, your vehicle will, will then enter into a permanent lockout and you will have to call up for an unlock code. Now that you're driving, your interlock will at some point prompt you to perform a random retest. When the unit prompts for this test, the screen will display the word blow and will also display a countdown of the time allowance remaining. To ensure safe handling of the vehicle, Smart Start recommends pulling over while taking the test. Your interlock will never stop your vehicle during a rolling retest. However, the lights and horn will activate after 5 to 10 minutes to alert you of the requested test. This time will vary depending on the state you are in. Calmly pull over and turn your ignition off and on again, then provide the test. Please note that missing or failing a rolling retest could result in a violation. When you have arrived at your destination, check the device screen. If it is requesting a test, you must provide the test before turning the vehicle off. Otherwise, the device will record a missed test. When you are close to the end of your program, you will receive correspondence from your transport authority with the steps for removal or extensions of the program, according to your data. In court cases in Victoria, you will need to make a booking for your court hearing 28 days prior and request your data from us through our website. If unsure of your last service date or removal process, please contact our Customer Support Centre and they'll be happy to assist. Now's the time to go out and find the technician, wherever he or she may be, and get them back into this room to complete the training and go over any questions that you've got that remain about this package that we've just provided and you've read through. If you still have any other further questions and you feel the need to call our head office, please make a call on 1300 256 900 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help you out.
Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the Smart Start 2020 ignition interlock device. The 2020 requires a distinctive blow hum pattern. To achieve this, you need to supply one liter of volume of air along with a distinctive hum tone. This is easily produced by saying the word who. I will now display a successful test. Please ensure every time you make a test, you take a full breath of air. As you can see, after a successful test, it will display the word pass. As part of the device and learning how to use it, it is easier to remove the mouthpiece and provide a test using the mouthpiece in your mouth with your palm of your hand placed approximately 20 centimeters away from the mouthpiece. When you blow through the mouthpiece, ensure you seal correctly around the mouthpiece and you'll feel the air hit the palm of your hand. If you're not feeling the air hitting the palm of your hand, you're not providing the necessary volume of air that is required. Examples like this. <sighs> I can easily feel the air hitting my palm. So please do this as part of your training. I'll now place the mouthpiece back into the device and give you some examples of what will occur when you don't produce either the volume of air that is required or the hum tone that is required. As you can hear, I'm correctly humming into the device, but not providing the full volume of air. It displayed the word abort early, and this signifies this. I will now show you what will occur if I do provide the full volume of air, but not provide the hum tone as part of the circumvention requirement. As you can see, it simply displays a board hum. Now, I'll once again show you an example of a full and correct test. Please remember, as instructed earlier, always to take a full breath of air. It signified saying the word pass. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to use the Smart Start 2020 ignition interlock device. Please, if you require any further assistance, don't hesitate to go and visit our website at www.smartstartinterlocks.com.au.